Nahana Vakal, my name is Will. I'll be your technician for the day. So I've went ahead and done a full inspection on your vehicle here. I checked your brakes, checked your tires, checked for any major leaks or concerns. A few major concerns here for you today. I can get a light on the situation and explain to you what it is I'm talking about here. Um, so first off, your tie rod ends. You can see here your boots are cracked, split, torn. Um, this is dangerous because basically there's a lot of corrosion that's going to form between that ball joint boot in there, the tie rod boot, the ball sits in a hinge, um, and this can literally come detached while you're driving. This controls your wheel from turning left to right. Basically that's what turns your wheel. Uh, it's not good. Definitely want to have both of those replaced. It's the same on both sides, as well as your lower ball joint boots. They're also torn, cracked. I want to highly recommend replacing those. There's a lot of dry rot taking place here. You can see this one's cracked on the side here. The other one's cracked on the back side of it. Can't really see. Definitely want to recommend getting that done for you today. I'll check the availability on the parts for that for you. Aside from that, we don't have history on your vehicle. So I'm gonna go through a list of things, items, service items, based upon the date, the age of your vehicle and the mileage of your vehicle, and based on my inspection visually today. So let me pause the video and lower the vehicle for you so I can go over some things. So up front here, your engine is over 120,000 miles and your vehicle is definitely over seven years old. So due to the age and mileage of your vehicle, I'm gonna start with a list of recommendations for services that you absolutely must have done. Um, so every 105,000 miles, you're due for what we call a valve adjustment. Over time, the valves in the top end of your engine will get too loose or too tight. This can cause damage to other components, as well as bad fuel economy, really cause your engine to run very sluggish. So it's really very important to, for us to get in there and look at everything, as well as adjust the valves for you. It's a good, a good preventative maintenance item. Definitely prolongs your engine life as well as you get new valve cover gaskets. And those come with the job. Uh, aside from that today, I uh, want to do a new drive belt. That's also due every 105,000 miles uh, or seven years with your drive belt, as well as your coolant. So you're due for both of those services as well by mileage. Um, last thing with the 100,000 mile services is your water pump. That is due at 105,000 miles. Your water pump comes in contact with water all the time. It's a metallic item. It does start to corrode. Within 105,000 miles, they're pretty much shot. They're not doing their job the best that they can, and you will start to see problems with your car if you don't regularly maintain all these items. This is a list of Honda recommended items that you are due for. This is the list that I'm literally generating all this off of. Your 105k services, drive belt, tune-up, which is spark plugs. I haven't gotten to that yet, but you are due for spark plugs as well. You don't have a V6, so you can scratch the timing belt out, but you're due for coolant, valve adjustment, and a water pump, like I said. So aside from those services today, I want to recommend doing a transmission service. We're going to start with your fluid services now. Transmission services are very important because that's a CVT transmission. That fluid breaks down over time and mileage. So I highly recommend replacing that. Aside from that today, I want to recommend doing a brake flush. As you can see here, your brake fluid is very low, very dark. That should be clear like water. And it's low because your brake pads are getting low. That brings me to my next topic. You don't have to do them right away, but they are getting low, like I said. So within the next oil change, I want to recommend doing a front and rear brake job for you. Your tires are a little unevenly worn, so definitely need to do the tire rotation today, but I want to recommend doing an alignment and a four wheel balance as well. This will better preserve the tread on your tires and prevent any bad wheel bearings. Highly recommend doing that. Definitely prolongs the tire's life. Tread life. Aside from that today, um, want to recommend doing a cabin filter for you with an AC EVAP service. There's a lot of dust, dirt, debris built up inside your AC system. This service concludes of a chemical we shoot into your AC system to blow out all the dust, dirt, debris, and allergens. I do believe that's all I have for you today. Anything I may have missed, your service advisor will go over with you. Just wanted to thank you for choosing Honda Vacala and I hope you have a great day.